and the petty, fire and the Oh, for no go petra maga hambe. Ati, aye gumana icheria. This song is not a real song. Anyway, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Twala. My name is Gamu. And to all my returning subscribers, hi friends, and welcome back to another video. Today is a Tuesday. It's around 3 p.m. I am headed to the head office. I am in my Miss XO era because I received a parcel. I don't know from who. <laughs> they gave me a call today around like one o'clock and they told me that I have a parcel and then I asked them who's it from and they said they can't disclose it on the phone I need to come and collect it at the post office I'm like okay so I must just come and collect a bomb what should people are telling me is I must come and collect a bomb and then I'm gonna get killed because you can't disclose on the phone who the bomb is from and the lady was like, no, ma'am, please just come to the post office and get your parcel. And I'm like, mm -mm -mm, Zang Kalela. So I've been waiting for my boyfriend's aunt to come and collect something from me. She came and she collected it. By the way, guys, please support my boyfriend's mom's products. She's selling ginger shots. So when I take them before I have like my breakfast or my food, I feel really, really light like afterwards because I have a problem. After I eat, I just always feel so bloated. But if I take the shot first, then I eat maybe after 30 minutes, I feel really well. So my boyfriend's aunt had come to collect her ginger shots, which my mom, my boyfriend's mom had given to me to give to her. So please support the business. I'm going to put the page up here or the details up here if you want to place your order. Them. so yeah i am on my way now to the post office to go and fetch this bomb that's gonna kill me you guys are gonna come with me to go get the bomb that's gonna kill us because i don't know what's going on anyway don't forget to like to comment to share please subscribe to my channel i go on my nigeria that belly chocolate one thing in yoga for my friend i go on my nigeria I call on my night, Sherry. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know what is it that has to come to the post office. I am just as confused. It's so hot. And the weather will have you confused because it's raining. You think it's cold, but it's hot. Chicken ya eight number ya kabisa kusa ineli. It's so hot. I'm sweating like a pig. Guys, I'm back. I am back. Sorry. Oh, I wanted to sit here 
and tell you guys that I'm back from the post office and I'm not as excited as I was when I left simply because I'm just like mm, you guys sent me all the way to the post office to get that like you guys delivered this thing at my house the previous time why am I getting it through the post office this time around like that is upsetting me my homegirls and their homeboys because like guys i know i didn't order anything right like i know i'm not expecting any deliveries but that you know that little element of what could it be what could it be what could it be and the last time i got something through the post office was a wig i was like mm, who sent me a wig i didn't order a wig don't get me wrong but the fact that whatever i must fetch is at the post office i'm thinking is it a wig is it a wig is it a wig who sent me a wig by mistake are the wig companies reaching out to me like are the wig companies sending me things inshallah we pray to god one day they'll recognize me and they'll want to work with me but i was really hoping it's a wig look i thank god for the blessings like i really did say i want to be a content creator i want to get work like i want companies to send me stuff to review i want paid collaborations like i want it all i want it all i want it all because me i'm there thinking oh my god it's a wig it's a wig don't even mind the one that i'm wearing because i didn't even lay it down that's why i'm wearing a cap and i'm sitting here because i want to show you guys something oh guys there was no need for me to go to the post office. They could have just delivered this thing at my house. <sighs> and also, another thing is, do I live at the post office? Like, why would you want to deliver? Like, who told you that that post office is working? Like, I want to speak to the head of the department of this company and ask them, like, do I live at the post office? Why would you guys want to send me things at the post? Like, it doesn't make business sense. Anyway, I wanted to... I'm sitting here because... I'm not going to say a lot of you have been asking because it's really not a lot of you, but <laughs> I see the question coming up a lot. Like it's coming up a lot. Let me put it like that. So this part of the video, I'm just going to share with you guys like the stuff that I used to record my videos, the positions that I used to record my videos and so forth and so on. If you feel like it's not something you're interested in, you can pass or you can skip to the next part. However, I'd really appreciate if you really watch or you listen through. Like, I don't even think that this is just meant for someone who's a content creator or someone that likes taking pictures or videos. I feel like this can assist you. No matter, who, but like, no matter who you are, this will assist you. Like, this is going to help you a great deal. If, for, for whatever reason, you know, for whatever reason, it will help you somehow. You, like, you will get the assistance. Like, you'll get the knowledge. Like, just please listen through so that you can get, like, you know, things here or there. You always ask me where do i film what do i film with how do i film so i have set up my setup so that i can show you guys how i film when i came in you saw me carrying a chair i put my chair here and we've agreed that the lighting on the side is much better right so i put my chair here and as you can see the back is the tv right now i'm watching selling sunset i'm still in season four ne? yeah this is season four episode 10 this is the last episode um i'm gonna move to five and six then i'm done yeah, seven, five, six, seven. So yeah, I usually put on that fire aesthetic and it plays via YouTube. So I sit here, okay? This is the chair that I sit on. I'm now going to move to behind the scenes. What do I use or what is it that's happening? Okay, so behind the scenes, here's what's happening, right? This is my ring light. I don't have a tripod stand. I don't have like a small portable tripod stand or like a long tripod stand for whatever, whatever. I don't have those things. So I still mount my phone on my ring light. This is my ring light. I got it from Remax and this is a 30 centimeter. That's the, the thingy. That's the, what do you call it? That's how big it is. It's a 30 centimeter um, ring light, right? You can see over here is a mirror. It's not really long. There's, that's how long it is well yeah that's how long it is that's my mirror okay so while i'm recording i'm looking at myself on the phone through the mirror that is how i'm able to see if i'm in shot if you guys can see me nice and clearly don't mind this dirt it's makeup obviously obviously this is i think this is what do you call this this is yeah this is mascara i think this is mascara this should be foundation don't mind it anyway right so the ring light is there to mount the phone sorry the, the mirror is where i can see my like i see what i'm doing you see what i right now as i'm talking to you guys i'm looking at myself on here but what i see on here is what i usually see on the mirror that is why i'm able to see if i'm in short if it's clear for you so forth and so on that's why the mirror is there so you understand 
the mirror doesn't have anything to balance on so i put this chair over there and that's how it looks you can see my ring light is off right the ring light when it's on it's too much like the, this ring light is very strong it's very powerful sorry i don't switch it on when i film it's off it's just there to help me mount my phone because i don't have a tripod like i said the lights that i use i don't know will you be able to see yes hmm can i maybe it's like maybe it's like this thing this aesthetic that uh they reduce the, the, the lighting what do they call this aesthetic guys is it dark light i like it look at how cute it looks <laughs> what do they call this it's it's it's, it's an in thing guys like where people like to dim their uh, the settings of their phone to to be like this anyway enough about that that's the lights that i use this is the soft box light that i use i got these from take a lot sorry i'm gonna link the lights on my on my on the description box so that you can check them out if you want them you can get them okay so these are really two so they come out in two they come out with the light bulb and yeah you know that's the light that i use that's the only light that i switch on now that's okay let's let me put this back here guys so that i can talk nicely I, I keep moving out so I phone in the right now that that's out the way sorry now that that's out the way right i use this softbox light it's on you can see right and then i also use i like to shoot in natural lighting because then the light comes from this angle and it comes from that angle too you see you saw there's a first there a window right so the light comes in from this window and then we have a, a door here like a glass door and then the light comes in from that window too i switch on the softbox light because i don't like to edit my video and put filter on my videos i don't like to put filters because when you put on a filter when you do this you obviously the filter is you know what i mean so the filter will start to move around with you i don't like to edit my videos in that way i like my videos to go up the way that they are the only thing i'll edit is like chopping and cutting and pasting and chopping and cutting and pasting i don't want to put filter on my face or brighten or darken like i don't like to do that that is why even when i'm shooting during the day i just switch on the softbox light so that it can blur out anything that needs to be blurred out without me putting on filter i don't know if you guys understand i hope you do if you don't understand please let me know and then the next thing is the camera settings okay as i've said i shoot using my iphone 13 pro okay um i'm gonna show you on my iphone xr the settings that i use because it's the same thing you know um First of all, please go and update your software. You see, doing this is going to help you a great deal. Hey, my sister. My sister. Okay. Doing this is going to doing this is going to assist you a great deal. Please go and update your software so that your life is going to become so much easier if your software is updated. Like your phone is going to do smooth things. Okay, so update the software on your phone. Right? We are now on 17. Point one one, great. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to your sana. You're gonna come to your settings, right? Let me just look from there. You're gonna come to your settings. Then you're gonna scroll. Can, can you see it? Can you, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. You're gonna scroll all the way. Yeah, my sight is bad. You're gonna look for the camera option where there's camera. Let me just look, guys. Ah uh ah. -uh. Let me just look. Where is camera now? Here's camera, right? You see there where it says record video. You see that, right? You click on record video. It's giving you a hundred other options. You come to the last option. You click this last option. Can you see it's well? You see it's well, well, right? You click this last one. This is the one that you click on. If you go up, nothing else is selected. Can you see these things are dark? These things here, they, there's no selection. It's not green. You see, if I say it's going to be green, make sure it's not green. Make sure it's not green. Make sure it's not green. Make sure it's just like this. But you need to select this bottom one. 4K 60 FPS. Can you see that? Those are the camera settings that I use. Another thing that I think is working for me. Guys, our phones, right? Our phone, if you put on a, you see this phone has a cover, right? But the camera is not covered. Every time I put this phone in my bag, there's lip gloss, there's car keys, there's lipstick, there's my house key, there's a charger, there's a knife, there's a sword, there's a house, there's a boat. My bag has a lot of things in it, you get me? So those things in the bag, they scratch your camera. 
I would highly advise you to invest in a phone cover that covers that covers your camera. I don't know. Can you see that? I don't. Hey, Sana. I'm trying my best to show you. Okay, you guys get it. You get that this thing is covered. This is plastic here. This is plastic cover for my phone. Every time I record though, I remove this thing because if I record using this thing, this thing is the one that's getting scratched. If you can, eh, can you see it? Hey, son, let me try. Yeah, I think you can see it. This thing, it's got, yeah, but this thing already is scratched because this is what, when, when, the, when the phone enters my bag and it comes across my life all in that bag, it meets these things. So I have to remove this thing in order for the quality to be crisp, pashash, great, excellent, marvelous, beautiful, bravo. You get what I mean, right? So invest in a phone pouch that has these things that are covering the camera. When you're done recording, put your cover back and always just make sure your phone is covered. I don't play when it comes to this cover. Like I bought this from a shop in Greenstone. Um, what's the name of the shop? I don't know what the name of the shop is, but when you enter Greenstone Mall, by this came after this came there's a couple of the sausage salon and then after sausage salon there's a shop that sells like phone stuff like gadget stuff i bought this cover there but i'm sure you can find this cover anyway invest in this good cover it's great it saves my life i don't have to stress and worry about my phone being scratched my camera being scratched when i record i remove that cover and then when i'm done recording i put the cover back I, you will never find my phone slipping like you'll never find my phone slipping you'll never find my phone without a cover because i value the camera since it takes out this p quality so i also almost forgot son i also almost forgot to mention guys i don't take you see when you go on your phone yeah let me show you you see when you go on your phone like this uh -uh. you see when you go on your phone like like this right like this is your phone right you go on your phone like this and you click there by camera hey right where's the you see it's on video okay let's go to photo see like on photo hey like this can you see like this let me show you i don't take a picture like this i can't take a picture like that because iphone pictures are ugly I can't, you see, this, this is ugly. I can't deal. I can't take a picture like this. Let me show you what I do to take pictures. I, I go to video, right? I go to video and I click video and then I pose like. I pose, right? This is a video. Then I stop the video right then i come to the video okay let me just look here then i come to the video hey and then i just pause the video and then i go <sighs> sorry i pause the video then i just go through through the video like this right you see that's a picture for me i screenshot that i screenshot that and then I just move on. That's a picture for me. I screenshot that. I move on. That's another picture for me. I screenshot. So screenshotting on iPhone, you know, you click the, the top volume here, the top volume here, and the lock button on the side. So you just click them simultaneously, and there's your screenshot. That's a picture. That's a picture. Can you see that? And then when I'm done... I just come here and I edit it, crop, and then I just, sun, ebo, just to sell your data, papizul, and then crop, then it's done. Can you see? This is my picture, and this is coming from a video. Because if you take a straight picture from iPhone, baby, it's gonna be shit. I'm sorry, but iPhone pictures are not the greatest. You need to learn and practice your iphone so that's what i do i take a video and i pose in the video as if i'm posing for a picture then only i go to the video and make screenshots and like take screenshots of that then i just crop them out then i just upload them that's how i do it i don't take still pictures with the camera off the phone I flip your phone and use the back camera i've told you what to do if you're sitting down use your mirror if you are doing a vlog you'll get used to it the first time you're going to feel uncomfortable like the first time you do this let me show you 
the first time you take your phone and you do this and you like you, sh you you record yourself like you record yourself talking and you know talking 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 you're gonna feel uncomfortable you are gonna feel uncomfortable but just make sure that the you, where your, your camera is angled you are somewhere in the middle even if you're not it's okay like even if we understand the fact that you're using your back camera and the quality is p we will understand we will understand but over time you will get used to it like practice makes perfect practice makes perfect flip your phone flip the phone don't say I don't do anything for you guys. The apps that I use to edit are InShot, iMovie if I'm lazy, I use iMovie, and then CapCut. I use CapCut. I prefer CapCut because CapCut, it does not, like the quality of your video does not deteriorate when you save it. Because with InShot, what I picked up is like you can edit on InShot, then when you go and post it on Instagram, for example, the quality starts to deteriorate. I was, I'll, put a, I'll put a video up here. Like there's a video I did a while back where I was doing like a makeup tutorial. And when I was editing that video, everything was fine. Then I posted it on Instagram and I saw that the quality had deteriorated. So I was like, mm -mm, I don't like this. I want the, the quality of the video to remain the same even 10 years from today. So <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, those are the apps that I use. And yeah, please let me know if there's anything else you guys feel like I've left out so that I can make maybe another video ex or I can put it on another vlog and explain it to you because I don't feel like it makes sense for me to sit down and make an entire video just based off of the things that I use because I'm not like big like that. Like guys, like I don't use big cameras, big fancy things. Like I don't do all that stuff. I don't think I'm there yet. You know what I mean? Like I'm not there yet where I can take you through how I edit and stuff like that. Like it's not that deep for me as of yet as in I just do surface level things at the moment. You know what I mean? That's the little lesson I wanted to give you guys. And also, guys, I have some great news to share with you today. Your sister got selected for the YouTube Made For You Shorts. It's a program that, I don't know, YouTube has initiated for small creators. We have training now at... Listen. We have training now at... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me tell you what time the training is. It's at half past five Western African time. Now, my problem with this what, ne? Is the fact that I don't know the difference between what and sort, but I think it's an hour difference. I think uh, Southern African time, we are an hour ahead of Western African time. So if it's saying fifteen thirty, what that means it's six, it's seven, it's eighteen thirty for us. The email is saying we have, we must meet at seventeen thirty what, and we are sort C A T right. So I think for us it's gonna be half past six. But I'm going to try and be on there by half past, yeah. I'm going to try and be on there by half past five. It's quarter past five now. Sana. It's quarter past... I'm mad. It's, it is quarter past five right now. So I just wanted to come back from the post office, give you guys this update, and also tell you that I'm part of the YouTube Made For You Shorts program, and I'm going for training in 15 minutes. Wish me well. Guys, I told you my story. Me, Nane, like the way I am... Um, I don't think I'm a slow learner, right? But I don't grasp information very quickly. Like, <laughs> I don't grasp information very quickly. Like, when you're explaining something to me, like at first, I might not get it, right? I'll only get it when I get home, you know? And sometimes it makes people very like impatient. I remember at work, um, when I started working at the call center, like, uh, um whenever we go like for briefings and we get like campaign briefings and stuff like people would be like she's slow you know she's slow she's slow and they used to laugh at me you know and they used to laugh at me and they used to be like she's slow she's slow she's slow. so i'm so nervous about this um program i'm gonna join today like i don't know if they're gonna be explaining and i'm gonna be understanding what they say sorry if i'm gonna be, sorry if i'm gonna be understanding what they're saying and like am i not gonna be because i'm not the person like i won't ask questions guys like i I, I won't ask questions like i'm not gonna be like every five minutes sorry can i ask sorry can like i'm not like that like i don't like to do that because i feel like that brings a lot of attention to me and if i do that it's gonna be like she's slow you know what i mean or whatever and i know that asking is like seeking more knowledge and seeking more information but i just like it doesn't make me very comfortable to do that because i'm aware of the fact that i don't grasp information very quickly like i take time to process information when you tell me something right now i need to go home and go through it then only will i understand it you know what i mean so I'm very nervous. I'm happy for the opportunity. I'm obviously excited, but I'm nervous as to like my level of grasping information and applying what they say. How quick am I going to be? If we're going to be writing tests, like how quick am I going to be? Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm not stupid. I'm not slow. Like I'm not a slow learner, but I don't grasp information quickly like everyone. And I know that this can be 
it can delay other people like other people can feel delayed other people can feel like she's wasting time she's this that and the other so i'm really really nervous for that so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys um and yeah i'll see you guys a bit later i think when i'm done with the program i don't know if you're going to be allowed to vlog if i'm allowed to vlog while i'm in there but i don't know because i'll be using my phone you're about to be in the class or whatever since it's going to be like a zoom thing and yeah uh, i'm so nervous i don't even have an appetite because yeah anyway here's my little parcel from the post office and yeah <laughs> i'll see you guys later on hi friends welcome to day two of this vlog today is a thursday and i'm just getting ready to shoot some content i received a pr drop revlon so this is what i'm going to shoot today and also these i'm going to use these as props for the fragrance i'm going to be shooting with for revlon so um yeah i was just getting ready and then they arrived so now you guys know me i'm not really fussy about flowers so i don't really have a small vase and these flowers are pretty small so i just want to arrange them quickly i'm going to use this like i'm going to use this this is where i keep my my brushes i'm just going to wash it and then after washing it i'm just going to arrange my flowers and then my problem is guys they like i want to shoot the content on location like i want to get out of here like i want to get out of the house i want to go shoot like somewhere like i want to go shoot like at a river or a lake i know there's a river like after our comp after our complex there's a river so i want to go to that river but the problem is i don't have anyone to help me shoot the content and i feel like if i were to go with my ring light and just put it there and do my thing it's not going to be nice like i want someone to move with me as i'm moving you understand like to move with me like the camera to follow me as i'm doing what i'm doing and this uh, there's a lady that lives like in this complex and i know she's a content creator so now i'm thinking should i go and knock on her door and be like hi sis do you want to help me shoot some content one day you'll need me and i'll help you too so you don't have to charge me but i'm like eh, she's gonna think i'm creepy because we're not friends like that you know so anyway that's not important it's just i'm not someone to invade people's privacies like that and i feel like my friends like are always busy they're going to work I, I asked one of my friends if saturday she'll be free and she said she's going to work on saturday so i really don't have anyone to help me with this and i need these flowers to last until saturday i watched have faith and her mom said if you want your flowers to last talk to them so that they can understand that they're in a healthy home they're in a happy home i'm just praying they last until saturday so i can at least i can at least shoot this content on saturday so yeah i also need to go to this cam so i was thinking let me do my face first then i'll go to this cam when i'm done with my face i got this from mr prize by the way for 40 rent mr prize home i got these a while back Guy who lives here, I don't know. Should I put water? There's this guy that lives here, guys. That bought a Lamborghini Urus. Like, I don't understand. Why? I'm gonna put some ice. Hey, I saw this on TikTok. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I saw this on TikTok. <laughs> there's this guy that lives here in the complex right he bought a lamborghini urus and he made it green like he customized it to be green right now my question to this guy is why would you do that like why would you like why would you <laughs> why would you right you live here and you know you live here with the likes of us right why would you want to buy a lamborghini euros you know here we are driving kia picantos we are driving um we are driving quids we're driving all these like <laughs> i don't know guys, he's always making a noise like whenever he passes like i just heard him pass right now whenever he passes he makes sure babe he makes sure don't get me wrong these nice cars yeah people drive i will push cayenne i will g 
it's a GLC or that car, that big Mercedes car. People drive nice cars. Maybe I'm focusing on this one because I feel like I love Lamborghini Urus, guys. It's like my dream car, you get me? So, I'm just like, why don't you go and live somewhere where there's Indamas? Like, why don't you go live where there's people, your mates, like people who will afford Lamborghini Urus because now you're here making us breathe through the wound i'm not like a pro when it comes to this like flower arrangements and stuff so No man has yes, guys. To be honest. Guys, my life able pity pity wrong. I am on my way out now. I said I'm going to check it. No, not check it. I'm going to I'm using this fan as a one. I'm going to yo Eric you talk about the Uber drivers downstairs. I'm going to where am I going again? I'm going to thingy. Yo Uber driver. I'm going to check. I'm going to fucking disc him. It's not even cold, guys. It's just gloomy, rainy, or whatever. So yeah. Hi. How are you? I'm sorry, you haven't been waiting for long, right? Not really long. Yeah, don't be mad at me. No, I'm not. So you must be friendly and you must smile and be happy. The probability of this finding is today. Because I'm happy, so you have no reason not to be happy. Situations are not the same. As I said, as I said to you, I'm not mad at you. You're mad at who? The world? I'm just, I'm just focusing on other things. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, no problem. You can focus on other things then. I won't bother you. But if you're happy and I'm like, if you're not happy and I'm happy, it's like, ugh, you know. But happiness, I feel like, or positivity is spread, you know. So, like, if That's I'm, true. you see, if yeah. I'm happy, I should be able to change your mood but i failed in the first three seconds and remember the first three seconds where we you know, meet you know, you know they're very important you know what just to give me attention uh-huh um, do you want me to use my finger for you yes you can see my nice person I can't find my what do you call this? I can't find my my foundation shade. That sucks. I can't find my foundation shade. I was looking for something else. I was looking for where do palladium? Makeup switching. I'm back guys i want to get some water i want to get foil i'm gonna use this foil to remove my 
my nails tomorrow because I've got a nail appointment on Saturday. I got some essential wipes. Guys, here is my fighter. Now that I've got a skin condition, <laughs> I use this handy block thingy. And I went all the way to Katlong to get it like the other time. I was so bored, you guys, and they were finished. I want to try this one out, but I'm going to just, if I, when I finish this one, I'm going to continue with this one. Let me show you how it looks inside. This is what has helped me to brighten the black thing on my chin, you guys. Like, it works like a charm. And my aunt is the one that recommended it to me. So, yeah. Well, I'm actually, see, guys, my makeup is melting and I need to record. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, you see? That's how it looks inside. It feels like like a crayon. It feels like a crayon. When it works like a charm. Your face is left feeling. You see it saying you feel like velvet or whatever. I had ran out of her. Went to go and refill. And also her. And I got those. So yeah, that's it guys. I'm gonna oh oh and yeah. You can't go to the shop and not get this, so yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna I'm not gonna record um what I need to record and then I'm gonna call it a day. There's nothing else I need to do. Guys, I think we need to change the name of this channel from Bomzwala. Like I need to stop referring to you guys as Mzwala. By the way, Mzwala guys means like cousin, aunt, sister, friend whatever you know so yeah that's what it means it basically means my friend my sister my cousin but i think we should start we should call ourselves city hungry lions if you know you know <laughs> if you know you know we should be city hungry lions Every time I put down, they show me that. If I know I'm loud, she got my back. I do you go, I'm happy that. I do you go. Say everything I do is for my woman. Anything I talk, when you talk, I go do one. Me, I know they see another girl for my visuals. Loving you, loving you, now in my ritual. Hi guys, welcome to day three or four of this vlog. I'm not sure. I just keep picking up the camera when I want. I don't know. <laughs> this vlog I feel like is all over. So yeah, today is a Friday. It's around, I think it's 5 p.m. And I am hosted by Radisson today. I am at Radisson Hotel in Kempton Park. And I'm here to shoot some content and to basically hang out, you know, just to distress. I did say, guys, yesterday that I wanted to, like, shoot at a location. And God said, listen, the universe can hear your cry. And we're going to give it to you. I'm forever grateful, eternally grateful. So, yeah, I'm going to shoot some content, I think, tonight. My friend is going to come and join me, Aluta. Um, because I asked if I can have someone come join me. And they said, yes, it's okay. I can have a plus one. So, Aluta, my friend, is going to come and join me. And then she's going to, I don't know, she's going to help me shoot the content. Or I'll just shoot without her. But I need her to help me shoot the content. Do you get me? So, yeah, we're going to do a room tour. Um, I'm going to do a room tour with you guys. But I just want to unpack my bag and take out my ring lights. Because, you know, I don't have a tripod. I take my ring lights everywhere if I'm traveling. Point blank, period. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take out my ring light. Switch it on and give you guys a room to okay so here's the door knock knock there's the door aluta's gonna come through here <laughs> yeah so here's the doorway and then as you enter you have the main switch over there is this thing called a i think it's called a dv box right it's not a main switch it's a dv box then there's some hangers there and then I brought my makeup kit. I have someone who's coming to do their makeup tomorrow morning. She's going to an event, so I'm going to do her face from here. I just come from the shops to get, you know, a few goodies. <laughs> and then there's the safe over here. What do we have here? It's just some instructions. Oh, what is this? Oh, for laundry. Yeah, and then you've got the shoe mint thingy here. Then for the laundry bag, if you're interested to get your laundry done over here, then we have that blanket over here. And then there's nothing else here. And then as you walk in, as you walk in, this, this sliding door is for the bathroom. So you just slide it open. And voila, here I am. Can you see me? Yes. 
yes <laughs> and then this is the mirror this mirror is so gorgeous guys i love the lighting i absolutely love this lighting it's so pretty there i am in my glory darling in my glory <laughs> and then to the left we have the bathroom here it is very nice and cute mm -hmm. i feel like these lights are giving mood lighting eh? and then here we have a shower this is to the right we have a shower we have a towel over here and there's the shower nice and beautiful and yeah basically oh there's some more towels i was wondering and then yeah hand wash what is this oh it's that thing to wipe yourself when you like right to wipe your hands when you're done washing your hands yes yes queen mm -hmm. me in my fullest glory shell fullest and then as as you walk out the bathroom we have this mirror over here it's a full length mirror where you can see yourself nicely okay sister Camus, city lion <laughs> yes guys that's me today i'm wearing biker shorts and this top is from um, mr price it's my oversized t-shirt my sneakers are from steve madden and i'm wearing anklets from shein and i look scrumdily um here yeah, guys is the bar fridge here we go we have some nice treats we have chocolate box wine over there and we have two cake slices dual pack this is from chatu gatu how do you say this one chatu and we have some winery over here cute court yeah and then as you walk in to your left there's the side lamp i think the side lamp is very cute it's a side lamp over here nothing over here these are the side pedestals very cute and there's the bed then to your left is my bag and my handbag i haven't opened it i'm just gonna open it and unpack i feel like unpacking for just one night is giving drama <laughs> But it's okay and then there's the tv and then over here we have kettle coffee mugs sugar i think that's milk and then this room is a non-smoking room can you see the cover is off because i'm recording don't go then we have these glasses we have wine and we have savannah so i'm not sure how we're going to operate is this for wine are you going to use these for wine i don't know <laughs> Then we have water and here's the pro uh, the products i'm going to be using to shoot and then our oh, little cute ice bucket is this an ice bucket what is this one yeah it's an ice bucket it's an ice bucket and then we have another mirror over here you guys there's a little light here let me see let me switch it on oh this oh this is beautiful <laughs> this is beautiful <gasps> this is beautiful that's the light so the light dims like you can control the light there's a little thingy here that you can use can you see it gets brighter and then when you do this it gets dimmer oh it's giving luxury i love light guys so i prefer it when it's like this and you can move it around yes yes you can so when i'm sitting here if i'm writing or doing something cute like that yes baby very nice and then we've got room service here simply delicious you can order what you want this is the breakfast menu and then this is the just the room service menu and then this is my card that i use to enter my access card and then this is the outside there's not really much views this side what can you see from here there's not really much views This room is not giving very much views, <laughs> but it's cute. Like, it's very cute. I'm, I'm all by myself. I mean, my friend is joining me, so it makes sense. Like, this room makes sense. You know what I mean? So, yeah, guys, I'll catch up with you a bit later. I just wanted to give you a room tour. I'm just now going to get, like, comfy, relax, take off these sneakers because there's absolutely no way I'm chilling indoors and chilling in sneakers. Like, it doesn't make business sense. So, I'm going to take off these sneakers, you know, grab myself a salve, and just hang out, you know, wait for Aluta. And you um, here with me, you baby. Just clap your hands like this. Just clap your hands like this.
suit me day two at my staycation and i'm headed for breakfast it is what time is it let's check what time it's got up to nine it's a fine day to be a fine babe honestly <laughs> and yeah i'm still waiting for the lady to come hello i'm still waiting for the lady to come and do her face I'm not sure what time she's coming. She said nine, but like, I don't know. So yeah, that's why I'm going to go have breakfast. Hi, good in you. That is why I'm gonna go and have breakfast now. My makeup is not makeuping. My lace is lifting. But you know what we need to all do? Just to take our business and mind it. You take your business and you mind it, you mind it. First step is you must mind your business. You take your business and you mind it. You mind it, you mind it, you mind it. Lucy didn't come, my friend didn't come. I'm so mad. But I'm not, like, I'm not mad. I'm just, like, I'm a little bit disappointed, you know? Because she also didn't say why she's not coming. But yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's go have breakfast. I'm back from breakfast. Um, I'm just gonna wait for the lady to do her makeup to let me know what's tea because she's very quiet. Um, I'm still removing my nails, so I'm just waiting for this one because it's a bit stubborn. My natural nails, guys, look so nice, but the thing is, I feel like they're very bristle. Like I don't understand when people just put acrylic or they like put gel on their natural nails. I know if your nails are nice and stuff, you can probably get away with it. I feel like my nails, like at the moment. I could do that but i don't know for me it feels very uncomfortable they feel very bristle like in fact they're gonna break any moment now so i don't know i'm gonna cut them when i get to lady so today i'm just going to go get my nails done at lady my appointment's at one it's at one today my appointment is at one i'm not gonna get there four hours before my appointment my appointment is at one o'clock today so i was packing i put my ring light back there can you see that 
yeah so yeah i'm just gonna edit i've got i've got work that needs to go up today i'm just gonna edit and then send it to the client then listen to me send it to the client <laughs> i will tell you that for free like wow anyway yeah, i'm gonna just edit then send it to the client hopefully they review and they approve today and i can have the work go up today it's supposed to go up today so yeah No, you bring a gift. Do it. You go all out and do this whole thing. I wish he's doing it today. I'm bringing a dress. Want one thing? Yeah, you drop. You drama is necessary. I used to take anniversary serious back then. Now I forget about it. When I tell you that was the longest two hours of my life, my nails are done. Nothing a little cute Frenchie won't solve. I did a neon Frenchie and yeah, I'm done now. I'm gonna go home to see my mom. And yeah, guys, it's the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for making it this far.